So I'm here with the Fireball Kid Couch Daddy. The objective today, get milked, okay? And we're gonna do it. All right. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, hi. I mean, I look like a ladies' man, do I not? More like Jesus. <laughs> More like Jesus. Yeah. And as we know, Jesus, he abstained from sexual intercourse, but he was known, he was known to get a lot of hand jobs. No. I'm honestly trying to find a massage parlor, an establishment that will help me alleviate some stress through my wiener. The further east you go, the better it gets, I think. We're going to do some detective work because by the end of this episode, someone here is going to spray out. Uh, really? All right. Let us know. Is this a private session? Yeah. Have you ever uh, banged any of your students? Oh my god. No. no. All right. Don't do that. No, that, yeah, that's okay. inappropriate. I but I have a, so, it's not inappropriate, it's just not my thing. Yeah. You're a personal trainer. I'm trying to find somewhere where I can personally drain my balls via <laughs> hand job. Santa Monica and La Brea. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. God bless. Too easy, baby. I'm not responsible enough to have kids right now. I couldn't have kids. So I have to, you know, go about my business alleviating myself in my mm -hmm. own time, my spare time, right? Mm -hmm. So do you know an establishment around here that could help me avoid having kids via hand activity? Dude, you lost me. <laughs> you lost Looking for a hand job at a, at a massage parlor. I'm sure you can find that somewhere. You think so? I think so. Just put it on Bumble or something. It's like IRL dating apps. Mm, no, this is not IRL dating I like you, do you li I like you, do you like me? <laughs> no, the, the, there has to be like some like pickup line, um, you know. All right, here's my pickup line. Left or right, I'm trying to get it tight. Want to crank down? What? What's up, Playboy? You look like a guy that knows how to get milked, huh? Like a massage parlor or something like that, you know what I'm saying? You don't know? What's you wrong, dude? Never got a hand job before? You trying to milk me, dog, or no? Offer's on the table. Feel free to turn around if you want to. Guy was a fucking creep, man. <laughs> I was looking, I heard there was some kind of a massage parlor that offered like special deals. Have you heard of any of that nearby? No. I think it was called like Milker's Delight or something like that? No. Or the Spray Factory? No. <laughs> or, uh, Come Town Kingdom? No. Nah. <laughs> Thank you. Like that? No. Nope. Have you ever had a hand job before? <laughs> So I saw you coming out of this massage parlor. You had some stains on your shirt. It looked like you maybe just got, uh... Yeah, I'm straight, bro. Thanks, man. You're not gay? Thanks, dude. You're welcome. No problem. You can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. I'm bringing the 70s back, baby. And in the 70s, they were known for taking it out, putting it on the table, and going, flat, 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 flat. Hey, brother. Much like this little convenience store right here, I'm trying to find a place where I could conveniently get my balls leaked out. I want to press a few buttons, have a girl grab onto my shaft, yank, 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 till I... I don't know, man. You don't know? No. Can you think about it a little harder? <laughs> Somebody said if you go to K-Town, you could find some nice young Korean ladies that will help you with your problems, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Hey, player, how are you? I really like your Under Armour visor. And if there's one thing I know about visors, is that a man in a visor knows where to get his dick beat at. Am I right? <laughs> Yo, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's facts, right? <laughs> So what is this? What's going on? I mean, we're just straight up just trying to find a place where we can get a hand job at. Oh, shit. <laughs> cash rules the world. Cash rules my nuts. Life's an orgasm. Learn about it. It's tarring, son. That's actual tar? Yes. Really? Hey, for all you fledgling YouTubers out there, you want to know how to make it? Come to, where are we? La Brea Tar Pits. Come to the La Brea Tar Pits and stick the entirety of your penis in one of the tar holes. You want to make it or not? Hmm? It's a tough industry. <laughs> <laughs> kind of smells like that. <laughs> I don't know why I like fingering it so much, but it's fun. Hi, buddy. He's very aloof. He's busy with the smelling. And <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a nice dog. And one thing I know about dogs is that a man with a nice dog always has a nice hog. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sort of, sort of. Yeah. So do you know where to go to alleviate that hog once it gets a little bit rock hard? <laughs> Can't comment on that. There's one thing I know about an educated man is he always has an ejaculation plan. What's yours? Later today. At your house or do you go to a parlor? No, with my wife at home. Oh, you have a wife? And when she's out of town or she's being just a cold ass bitch? Oh, never. No, she gives me what I want whenever. Word. Between me and you though, dog, whenever she's, you know, being a little annoying, being a cold ass bitch, do you have a parlor you go to to? No, not anymore. You used to? I've done that, yeah. In what area of the city was that in? Usually the valley. Valley, right? Because that's where young Johnny Wad, John Holmes, was from. Mm -hmm. so I'll head to the valley, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of rub joints over there. Or go to Chinatown or whatever. Rub joints. Yeah. 
<laughs> you are fucking. something called the Rub Map, too. I don't know if you oh, know. Rub Maps. Yeah. Dude, you're an OG of this game. It's online. Yeah. A true pimp. Gotta get it out. That was the coolest guy I've ever met. You see what that says? M I L K. This store was practically made for me. Is this the milk shop? Yeah, this is the milk shop. So, do you guys have a milk station inside? We do not. Are you talking about just like regular like milk? What do you mean by milk station? Like a milk station. I don't know what you mean by that, man. Like, you know, the place where I lay down on a table, uh, my wiener comes through oh, a hole, and you guys not. milk me like a cow? Definitely not. Right? <laughs> Definitely like not. Like, juice the udder? That, that's not what we do here. Peel the bone? Nope. Rub the trumpet? Nope. Help me bust! Okay. I want to bust! Thank you. No problem, man. The milk shop? They don't even give hand jobs in there. You're good. That big frumpy bitch almost hit me. <laughs> Donde esta le leche? Donde esta le culo? Dude, where do I get a hand job? Huh. It's a ghost town in here. Look for any signs of semen stains. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello, sir. Hi. Yeah, we're looking for two massages. Uh, who? Two. Yeah, two. One, you. Yeah, me and him. Okay. We have a, a one male, one female. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I want to get cranked on by a man, you know what I mean? I would like a girl to, to fat me off. Yeah, because if we're going to get like a rub and tug, we want it to be a girl, you know? Uh, busy. No, girl well, busy right well, when she's free, she can take us to milk uh, the milk station? Not today. All busy. Okay. The girls that, that do the hand jobs are busy today? No hand jobs, okay? We do professional only. Yeah, professional what? hand jobs. Like, rub, like we saw you on rub maps, like for rub and tugs? No, we don't do it. I mean, I'm just trying to spray between me and you, brother. You don't do? Yeah. Well, what do you do here? We do the deep tissue. Yeah, from top to bottom, deep tissue on my crotch, no? No. Groin? Yeah, I'll be doing deep tissue only. Yeah, groin. Like me and him next to each other. Ski you can go skiing, like with the poles. But I don't want you to, because I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't, maybe you are, but I'm not, you know what I mean? I can do for you, but that is very busy. Okay. okay. Can you, but do you do these or no? I can do. You can? You can? No, I can do that one. All right. You are pretty handsome, so maybe I'll do it. You do? Okay. Are you attracted to me personally? Huh? 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 What? How much extra tip, though, for the hand job? We don't do hand job. No, but me neither, though. But for real, though, how much? No, we don't do it. I don't either. The press right here. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to be sly and discreet with you. I'm, I want to I wanna, wanna ejaculate. No. No? Oh, man. What? No, no, no. He stormed out. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna do it too. He was definitely gonna do it. He wanted to jerk us off. Yes, yeah, so your boy's at the spot, but I don't think I can roll in there with the cameras going, so I'm gonna switch it to private detective mode. Turn on my voice memos and yeah, you guys will see the rest. Wish me luck. Voice memo sound check, check one, two. Time to enter. All right, so I walk into this massage parlor and nothing's out of the ordinary. Simple thing, I want a massage, how much does it cost, yada, yada, yada. But I noticed there's a plaque on the wall that says, do not solicit prostitution, or something along those lines. They are staring at a sign that says, please don't ask. Sexual stimulation is not part of our time massage. If you inquire about sex, you will be asked to leave with no refund. We'll see about that. And I find a, a lovely young lady, just a beautiful, a beautiful little sweetie. She takes me back into the back room and I get naked, as you do when you get a massage, lays me face down, and yeah, n everything's normal, just run of the mill massage. And the only thing that was kind of weird is when she would massage my legs, uh, she would be grazing my balls, kind of like very, uh, I guess you could say obnoxiously, like clearly she's grazing my ball sack here. And at that moment I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna get a hand job. So throughout the massage, she's leaving the room. I don't know how professional that is, but she's just bouncing. And I'm left face down like, all right, wh like, what's going on? Where'd she go? Who's going to come in? And at some point, she asked me to roll over onto my back. Turn over. Turn over? And when I roll over onto my back, she grabs my penis like a vice grip. And as she does that, she leans in and whispers into my ear, do you want this? And uh, naturally, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, of course I want this. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah, who wouldn't want that? And then she says $100, and that's when I commence to bartering. And I'm recording all this on my phone, but the audio is so bad, it's really hard to hear. Wait, you bartered with the handjob lady? 
Yeah, I bartered her. Like this was 1876 New England? Yeah, I bartered her down from $100 to $60. First of all, I'm pretty sure that's called haggling. Bartering is when you like trade something for a hand job. Were you trying to, to trade your nut for the handy or something? Or? So I haggled her down from $100 to $60. <laughs> I like that. A shrewd businesswoman. It's good. Would I have to give you a $60 tip for no touching? Yes. Okay. Safety. All right. Do you want to test me? I'll keep my hands to myself. Save the money, right? I'm a, I too am a businessman, yeah? So once we settled on the price, I had to Venmo her. So uh, I hooked her up with a pretty solid Venmo receipt, and I'll play the audio now of what that sounded like. I'm gonna put um, whole milk from the grocery. Yeah. Whole milk from the grocery, how about that? By the time I had Venmoed her, my uh, rock hard erection had disappeared, and I was left with a limp little wiener that she proceeded to uh, masturbate to completion in just about a minute. It was pathetic. I felt like by the time I had an erection, it was already over. And this is what I said as uh, Seaman was leaving my body Dairytown Express. Of evil nut demon was possessing you to say something like that. I just, I really don't, I can't even fathom who would come up with some sort of weird, twisted, it's almost like a grocery store commercial line or something. Yeah, the Dairytown Express. The milk gods got a hold of me and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the hand job and she treated me like a, a, a used napkin because once she was finished with me, she tried to toss me out of the building. And, um, and yeah, that was that. It was, a, it was a fine time. Apparently all over LA you can get a happy ending. You just have to go in and um, receive one. I didn't really do anything special. There wasn't really any code words or key words, but I was searching for a happy ending and I found one. Hey, this place jerks people off! Jesus Christ. Maybe I'll come back and get a blowjob, huh? Time's up? Yes. Was that an hour? Yeah. Really? Are you trying to are you trying to poo tax your boy? No, I'm not Let me get like ten more minutes, huh? I'm the Johnny, baby. Like you said, my shoulders are tight. I'm not just trying to bust a nut bounce. Yeah, but you, you not fix the problem like that. You fix this problem. <laughs> you fix that yes. problem? Uh, I got a lot of problems, lady.